Hi everyone, this is Blaine Wiggins, the cabin guy, and I am coming to you from beautiful Arizona today. I wanted to share a really cool resource that uh, has helped a lot of my, my cabin buying clients, something that I put together, um, basically to forecast revenue. If you decide that you want to rent your cabin from a vacation rental standpoint, this little tool will help you figure out you know, how to actually uh, recoup your monthly expenditures. So as an example, let's just say you're going to one of my websites here. This is my 30 cabins under 200,000 that I, I feature every so often uh, through various channels. And let's say you're going through here and you fall in love with a cabin. Let's say it's this one right here. It's sold furnished and that catches your attention. And so you pull this up and you're going through and you're looking at information about the cabin and you think it's really cool. And you look at this loan scenario that I provide. And after putting 20% down, Oh, your principal and interest taxes insurance, your PITI payment is going to be right around $700 a month. So you know from a mortgage standpoint that over the course of 12 months, you're going to spend roughly $8,400. So you want to figure out how to price your cabin in a way that will recoup that. And so this is where this tool really comes in handy. Let's see here if I can pull it up. There we go. So I, this isn't very fancy by any means, but if you're familiar with Excel, basically anything that's in yellow, you can, you can change, you can play around with. And this allows you to project what your monthly payments or what your monthly revenue could be uh, if you rent the cabin out. So what I've done is I've taken 2016, even though it says 2015, taken 2016 and I've gone in and I've broken down how many nights there are for each of these categories. These are the categories that I use for our vacation rental, you know, off-peak weeknights, on-peak weeknights, and so forth. Um, major holidays like Christmas and Thanksgiving and Fourth of July, Memorial Day, things like that. And off-peak for me is maybe different than what off-peak or on-peak is for someone else. But for me, January, for instance, is an on-peak month. In June, July, you can see it's all on-peak. Very, very busy time. So. We look at this and we say, okay, so we know $8,400 is kind of the magic number. How much do we need to charge per night and how much do we need to rent it in order to, to get to that $8,400 mark? So let's say that, so that cabin we were looking at, it was about a thousand square feet, uh, two bedroom, two bath. So let's just, let's just kind of just for the heck of it, we'll say a hundred a night for off peak weeknights. We'll do 100 per night for off week, weekend. In fact, just for the heck of it, we'll do we'll do $100 a night for, for everything. And you can see it starts to create calculations. It takes the, the nightly rate and multiplies it by the number of those types of nights, and then it creates uh, some projected revenue. So obviously this right here is if you were to rent every single night for the entire year, what you would actually yield. And clearly that's not really realistic because you're not going to rent it out every single night, but it lets you know what your potential is. Um, Coming down here, this is where it gets kind of fun. So you can actually go in and you can start making changes to the percentages. So for off-peak weeknights, for instance, those are not super popular as you'd imagine. Kids are in school, there's a lot going on, it's hard to get up north during the week. So let's say over the course of a year, let's say maybe 20% of our off-peak weeknights we can rent out. Off-peak weekend nights, they're probably a little bit more popular. People love for a, a reason to get away, even during the off-peak times. So let's say that's a little bit better. Let's say we can do 40% of our off-peak weekend nights. For on-peak weeknights, it gets a little bit better because now kids are out of school. People like to do their summer vacations or winter vacations. So let's say you know maybe we can do 60% of our on-peak weeknights. On-peak weekends... Those should be really, really successful, hopefully 100%, um, but you're gonna use your cabin sometimes as well, so let's just say 80%. Um, that can change depending on how much you wanna use your cabin. For major holidays, really it'll be up to you whether or not you're going to use it or rent it out, because nine times out of 10, you should be able to rent out major holidays like Christmas and Thanksgiving and all that good stuff. So we'll just say 100% because you can do that pretty consistently. And then obviously minor holidays like President's Day and, and those weekends, and maybe maybe uh, Valentine's Day weekend, things like that, maybe we can do 75% of those. And so you can see 
it begins to create a calculation. Over here, it's saying that if we were to do this at this nightly rate, you would generate revenue uh, just under, what, just under $17,000. If we remember that our monthly payment was about $700 a, a night, or excuse me, a, a, a month, then you can see that we're doubling what that monthly monthly payment would be. It breaks it down by month. So you can see what your revenues would be in every given month. As you get down here, you can dive down even deeper. So you can do some research. You can talk to me as a, as a cabin expert, and I can talk to you about what, what the month to month changes look like as far as the, uh, the vacation rental season. So for instance, on peak weeknights, let's say, you know, I could do 40% of those and I'm gonna do 100% of my weekends you'll see that it'll start to calculate individually. So you can break it down by month to get a really, really strong projection of what your revenue could look like for the year. Now what's cool is up here, I just put generic, you know, 100 a night, but we can also come in here and say, okay, it's two bedroom, two bath. I'm gonna stick with $100 a night for weeknights during the off-peak time, but I'm gonna go up to 115 for weekends because there's a little bit of a premium for weekends. And, and just for your our purposes, for me, I don't count Sundays in my weekends. So, so weekends are literally just Fridays and Saturdays, just so you know. Um, for on-peak weeknights, maybe that goes up to 125, and the weekends say 135. And for major holidays, let's say 175, and for minor holidays, we'll say 150. And so we'll keep the same percentages, and you can see over here, it gives you an idea of what you could yield from a revenue standpoint. Um, it's just for nightly rates for the entire year. So it's a great way to forecast and play around. Obviously you can say, well, I'm gonna do a little bit more marketing on these off-peak weeknights, so I'm gonna bump that up to 30. I think I can do better on my weekend nights, even if it is off-peak, so I'm gonna move that to 60. Um, I can move this to 75. I'm not going to use the cabin a whole lot, so I'll do I'll do 90% of the weekends, and I think I can get this to 100%. And it's fun to see that number go up. Now it's always important to know this is always this is just a tool to try to forecast and project. Obviously, I can't make a promise for for you and your cabin. A lot of a lot of it is what you put into it, the marketing, the time, the effort. Um, I have a lot of resources and a lot of tools and a lot of experience in this, and I can help coach you through it, but. This is a great tool as a starting point to figure out, okay, what could, what could I actually make if I were to do a vacation rental? Um, if you have any questions or if you'd like to be part of uh, the, the consistent newsletter that goes out with, with cabins that are featured, you can contact me a variety of ways. You can reach me on my website, which is listwithblaine at gmail, or excuse me, listwithblaine.com. You can go here and you can sign in and you can create uh, your own login which will send you information about cabins so that's one way you could also contact me through our facebook page which is the wiggins family cabin um, we'd love for you to join the almost six thousand people that follow us on facebook you can see that we do a combination of featured cabins also special rates and things like that you can find me on my real estate facebook page there's my friend heidi she's hanging out at the waste management open there um, which is list with Blaine and join almost the 3,000 or so that are that are following me there. And um, I would love to help you. So list with Blaine at gmail.com is my email address. You can also call me or text me anytime at 623-256-1222. And uh, you can email me at listwithblaine at gmail.com. Thanks for watching and hope you have a wonderful day.